Hello fifth graders, this is Miss Math, and in today's video, we will be reviewing the decimal place values, the standard, expanded, and word form in preparation for the 2022 Texas Star Test. Let's get started. Remember, it always seems un impossible until it is done. Nelson Mandela. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can get all of the new release videos for fifth grade math. We have the fifth grade math review workbook available in our store. The link will be in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Let's review decimal place value. Our sentence says, Texas Rangers, Jose Trevino's 2021 on base percentage is 0.267 or 267 thousandths. Let's look and see how we represent that in the place value chart, standard form, expanded form, and word form. In Play, the place value chart, let's look at our values. We have the thousands place. We also have the hundreds place with the hundreds, tens, and ones. And we have a decimal point. And right on the side of the decimal point, we have the tenths, hundreds, and thousands place. So for our standard form, it's the normal number of how we write it. It will be 0.267. Now let's see how we will write it in extended form. This is one way this number is wrote in extended form. 0 0.20. Now you can have the zero there or you don't have to. It still means the same thing. Plus. 0 0.067 plus 0 0.007. And if you look at our place value chart in our extended form, you will notice that the number of places that specific number is behind the decimal is the same as in the place value chart. Let's look at another way we can write this number in extended form. We have 2 times 0 0.1 plus 6 times 0 0.01 plus 7 times 0 0.001. Now, another way we can say that is 2 times 1 tenth plus 6 times 1 hundredths plus 7 times 1 thousandths. And when we multiply that again, it will be in the same place as it is on the place value chart. Now let's look and see how this can be written in word form. In word form, and if you notice, it's color coded so that you can follow along. We have 267 thousands. This is how we say this number or 0.267. Let's look at another example before we dive into our first word problem. For our standard form, we have 3,684 and, because when we see that decimal point, we know we say and, that signifies that there's decimals that come after it, 26 hundredths. Let's look and see how we write it on our place value chart. We have a three in our thousands place, a six in our hundreds place, an eight in our tens place, and a four in our ones place. Now, let's move to our decimals. We have a two in our tens place and a six in our hundreds place. Let's look and see how we write this number in extended form. We have, and again, to follow along, we have the color coding so that you can see that the number on the place value chart and the numbers are in this expanded form are the same. For our first 
the first type of way we can write the number in expanded form, we have 3,000 plus 600 plus 80 plus 4 plus 2 tenths. And remember that zero behind the two, we can leave it or we don't have to write it. Okay, it's just called a placeholder plus six hundredths. The other way we can write our number in expanded form is three times 1,000 plus six times 100 plus eight times 10 plus four times one plus two times one tenth plus six times one hundredths. Okay. Those are the two ways we can write this number in expanded form. Let's look and see how we can write it in word form. Again, color coded for you to follow along, we have 3,684 and 26 hundredths. So we've reviewed and have examples of how we can write numbers with whole numbers and decimals. Now let's dive into our first problem. And again, this problem is in the workbook that can be purchased. The link will be in the description box so that you can purchase it so you can grab yours today. Our first problem says a temperature in degrees Fahrenheit is shown in expanded notation. Notation is the same way as saying expanded form, which we went over, remember? We have 9 times 10 plus 4 times 1 tenth. How is this temperature in degrees Fahrenheit written as a numeral? And numeral is the same thing as number, okay? It's just a fancy way of saying it. So our first question is, what are we looking for? That is the very first and most important question that we have to ask ourselves in order for us to get the problem correct, right? Right. So what are we looking for? And the key to finding out what you're looking for is to look for the sentence with the question mark. Do you see it? Awesome. How is this temperature in degrees Fahrenheit written as a numeral is what we are looking for. And we are looking for how it's written as a numeral. And what do we say numeral really meant? It's just a fancy way of saying what? If you said number, you are absolutely correct. So we need to figure out how we write this as a number. Now think about when we went through our examples, which form is just the number? It's standard form. So basically what this question is saying is how do from the extended notation, but we know notation really means form, do we write this number in standard form or just write the number, okay? The next information we need is how can we find the answer or what information do we need to find the answer, okay? And so looking at the problem, you are going to pick out the key things or key items, key numbers, key words that help you to figure out how to solve this problem. And what the information we need to solve the problem or find the answer is, number one, we know that the nine is in the tens place. How do we know that? Because in our expanded notation, it says nine times 10. And then we also know that the four is in the tenths place. How do we know that? Because we see we have plus four times one tenth. With that information, the next thing we need to do is figure out how do we solve this problem? And in our examples, we, can, we saw how we can go from standard form to extended form and also to word form what we need to do is da, 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 come up with a place chart so that we can write our numbers in order to figure out what our correct answer is. Again, we know that the nine is in the tenths place and you see it's in the tenths place in our place value chart. Now, do we have a number in our ones place in our extended our, I'm sorry, in our expanded notation? No, we do not. So that needs to be a zero, okay? 
And then we have the four in the tenths place. So 90.4 or 90 and four tenths. What is our correct answer? If you said 90 and four tenths, you are absolutely correct. We were able to do a review on the different ways we can write the different forms or ways we can write a number with a decimal. That's the standard form or notation, expanded form and word form. Also, we looked at a word problem to figure out what information we need to solve the problem, what we're looking for, how we need to solve the problem, and also to get the correct answer. And that is it for this video, fifth graders. Remember, again, you can purchase the review workbook. The link will be in the description box. Also, starting January, 2022, we will start registration for online math review boot camps so that you can be successful on your state test. This is Miss Math Sugar. I'll talk to you later.